Good morning, everyone. It's Joy. It's 1030 in the morning. I never filmed this early. I was going to go get my hair done, and she's running late, so I have a little bit of time, and I thought I would get this in. We're going to do an empties video, and um, so with the morning light in my house, the sun comes, uh, rises in the east and sets in the west, so it kind of goes like this, so you're going to get good lighting on this side and shadow on this side, so I'm sure it looks like my makeup is awkward, but it but it's actually even. Anyway, that really isn't important because we're not going to talk about my makeup. We're going to talk about my empties, my little tub. So let's get started and talk about bedhead. This stuff was pretty good. Bedhead. This stuff is one of my favorites for scent. This one is the red one, Obvi. And it's the conditioner. I still have the shampoo in my shower. This one is damage level three because I have damage level three because I do a lot of highlighting in my hair and I do a lot of coloring in my hair. Resurrection. We would like to resurrect the hair. Would I purchase this again? I love bedhead because it smells good. I've tried all the different I don't know if I've tried all the different colors. I've tried a lot of the different colors. The blue one is my favorite scent because it smells like Skittles. This one is not too bad. The shampoo, I'm not... No, I like it. Yeah, it's good. They're all good. I like Bedhead. Okay, Dermalogica. This is a cleanser that lasted me a very long time. I think it was over two years that the sucker lasted me. And I would pump it out into little sample jars and take it traveling with me. So it's a cream cleanser. I wouldn't say that it did an awesome job at taking off my eye makeup or even my foundation makeup, but it, um, I don't think I'd purchase this again. No. If you have really dry skin, this is a really nice creamy cleanser, but afterward I felt like I still needed to either use a toner or something to get off the residue of the cream. It didn't foam up. I like a foamy cleanser. If you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that. Initially, this works in a set where you do the oil cleanser, the essential cleansing, solution which is what this is and then you do a few other steps and when I had the little travel size kit of all the steps I really liked all the steps so I bought the big one I don't know that I, I don't think I would buy the big one again I would try something else so there's that Obagi C serum I love this stuff I already have another one it is a Professional C. It's a 15%. Comes with a dropper. Smells like vitamin C. It's medical grade vitamin C, and you just put about five drops on your hand and put it on your face after you've cleansed. And it's supposed to protect against the free radicals and give you a little bit of a lightening effect on your skin. Yes, I liked it. I already have another one. I will probably always have something like this at least in my skincare regimen. Love vitamin C serums. I love the Ole, Ole, Ole Hendrickson. Estee Lauder, take it away. And this is a cleanser that I got in probably one of their gift with purchases and I traveled with this. And again, it was a lotion, makeup remover lotion. And it was okay. I like the foaming ones. So if you like a lotion, then you would probably like this one. But I like the ones that foam up. <laughs> okay, I think it was either my very first or second video ever. And I talked about this. And I said, who in their right mind is going to pay $20 for deodorant? And then I got caught up in the hype. So I went out and I bought one because I thought, what the heck is the deal with the, the $20 deodorant? So I went out and bought one and used it and I liked it and I thought, okay, well, that was good. And then I thought, well, I'm never going to buy that again. And then I went back to regular deodorants and 
Regular deodorants, no matter how they say they don't leave a white cast on your clothes, they do. This one does not. So I went out and bought it again. Yes, I would repurchase this because not only does it smell good and it's nice, but it really does not leave a white mark on my clothing when I wear it. <laughs> okay, I think it was either my very first or second video ever, and I talked about this, and I said, who in their right mind is going to pay $20 for a deodorant? And then I got caught up in the hype. So I went out and I bought one because I thought, what the heck is the deal with the, the $20 deodorant? So I went out and bought one and used it and I liked it and I thought, okay, well, that was good. And then I thought, well, I'm never going to buy that again. And then I went back to regular deodorants and regular deodorants, no matter how they say they don't leave a white cast on your clothes, they do. This one does not. So I went out and bought it again. Yes, I would repurchase this because not only does it smell good and it's nice, but it really does not leave a white mark on my clothing when I wear it. And I think, I don't know, I guess I'm one of the lucky ones that I don't, when I perspire, I, I more get glowy on my face rather than my underarms. I don't have a big, huge issue with my underarms, so I don't get real stinky in that way. So I don't have to worry about, you know, having to use, like, manly strength deodorants. But this one kept me smelling nice, but it I like the fact that it didn't leave a white cast on my clothes. I could put it on, let it dry-ish into my skin, and put on my clothes and not have to worry about the white stuff all over my clothes. So, yeah, I'm a fan. 20 bucks. I know. I know. Too Faced, better than Sex Mascara. It looks like this, and I do like this one, but I like the minis. The brush on this, I mean, look at that next to my eye. It covers my whole eyeball. I like the minis, because I, I think the brush is better. It's smaller, but I do like the mascara. It does, it's one of those you gotta work with. It does get clumpy after a while and you have to work with the coats, but um, I like it. There are other mascaras out there, probably drugstore ones that are just as good, but I like that one. If I got one in another, in another gift with purchase or something like that, I for sure would use it. I don't know that I would repurchase that one right now. I'm, I would like to try more drugstore, less expensive ones, because I think those are probably just as good. Pantene, we went through another one of these. It's a hairspray. I like it. It holds my hair fine. Fine? It holds my hair fine? No. Fine. It holds my hair just fine. Yeah. L'Occitane. This is a Verbena body lotion. And I found this in my closet, or not in my closet, but in my bathroom cupboard. So I had to use it up. It was going to probably start to go bad. I've had this for a very long time. So I like the Verbena. It smells really good, So, but I had to use it up. Is it ultra moisturizing on my skin? I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't think so, but it smells good. I like Luxaton items. Burnsy went through one of these. Again, this is one of those things that I take before I work out to give me a little bit of energy to work out because I get, I need some energy when I work out. I'm so lazy these days. Bite Beauty went through a lip gloss and it is pink, just pink, just pink. Would I repurchase? Mm, uh, this came in one of those sets. I think it was a 2013 lip gloss set. So it's kind of my goal to go through that set and use because it's 2015 now. So I have to use these suckers up. This was year 2003. 2003. So use that one up. Finally, Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion. I've said this over and over again. I use medical grade skincare now, the Obagi system. So all these are just kind of fillers for me to use up. They don't, for me, they don't actually work as well as Obagi. So 
Would I recommend them? If your skin can't handle obaji, these would be the next best things. But if you can handle obaji, I would say use obaji. Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I noticed one thing with this. When I had a sunburn on my face, this completely took the redness away and the burn away. I used it, put it on overnight. The next morning I woke up and my skin was as if it was never burned. So for that reason, I really liked this. Did I notice it on a daily basis, making my skin look amazing before I put on my makeup? No, I did not. But if you have a burn or you have something going on with your skin, maybe that it's really angry, this might be your saving grace. Bare Minerals Faux Body Tan. Love this stuff. Already repurchased. Holy Grail Tanning Lotion. Dior Skin Nude. It's a concealer. I've had this for years. Finally used it up. Yes, I liked it, but it's very thin, very old formula. There's so many new concealers out now. I would try a new one now. Too Faced. This sucker is ancient. It smells bad, which is why it's in here. I'm not even going to use it. It's old and gross. It is in the color Cougar. It's like a brownie. This one right here. It's like a brownie. I was going to say mauve, but it's really not mauve. It's just like a brown cocoa color. Ugh. And it smells bad. So, yeah. That sucker's going in the trash. Cover Girl Makeup Something. A smoother. I like these. I used to use these all the time instead of foundation and especially in the summer because it's a really light formula and I would just put it on, powder it a little. Oh my gosh, I can smell that Too Faced. Put, put a little powder on it and go. I have a few of these in my drugstore area. I like these. They're, I think they're nice. They're light coverage. They're a light formula. Yeah, I liked it. Elizabeth Arden Ceramide? Ceramide? Purifying Cream Cleanser. And I liked this one. It foamed up. This was part of a gift with purchase that I got ages ago. And again, I took this traveling. I like these little travel size ones for when I travel because I travel a lot. So this is perfect for me. I can take it on the plane. I don't have to worry about the size. Finally went through an Urban Decay this Naked Skin Powder. This took me probably two years to go through and I used this a lot. I took this one traveling because there's only a couple of holes in there so it never got messy. Loved it. The finish was really nice. I was in Naked Medium Light. And yes, I would repurchase this when I'm out of powders. This would be on my list as one that I really liked that I would repurchase. It's a good powder. Tarte, one of these things. This is the matte color. Mm, I like that one. Oh, got it on my nose. It smells like mint. What color is this one? I can't read it, but it's, you know, it's just kind of a nude color. I liked it. Oh, this one is called Generous. It's a good one. Mascara, uh, Lorac Multiplex. 3D lashes. I liked it. It was nice. I like the brush because it's one of those plastic things. Oops, there you are. Even though it's curved, I liked it. It was a little big. The brush was a little big, but it's okay. I could work with that. All right, what else do we have? The Lime Crime. If you watched my products, I regret buying. You'll see why. I regret this and it came off. So this is in the color Babette. No, I would not repurchase these. Go check out my products I regret buying video and you'll see why. Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum Concentrate. 
love serums. I love, I don't think I've tried a serum really that I despised. This one was good. I liked it. It was smoothing. It felt creamy on my skin. I liked it. Would I purchase it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, but um, it's not on the top of my list to purchase, but I liked it. The Professional by Benefit. Yes, I love these. This is a little travel size thing that you get in some of their kits or a point perk or they give you a gift of purchase or something like that. I have a couple of these, so I don't need to repurchase it, but I throw them in my travel bag. I like them. Went through a MAC Pro Longwear in, in anticipation, and I will not buy any more of their Pro Longwear pencils because they dry out. Look at that. They dry out and they crumble. There's a lot more product in here and I can't use it because every time I sharpen it, it just crumbles. So I don't recommend their Pro Longwear lip liners. The colors are great, but they dry out and crumble really, really fast. No more for me. I'm not wasting my money on that. Miracle Worker. And this was a... Philosophy, your eyes are the windows to your soul. So this is an eye gel. And this was okay. There was one of these that stunk really, really bad. Oh gosh, which one was it? I think it was this. Was it this? Oh, I can't remember. There was one of these that stunk so bad that I had to use it up so quick. It might have been this one. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember, but I think it was this one that smelled really, really, really bad. Origins, three-part harmony, oil-infused serum for renewal, repair, and radiance. And this I got as a gift with uh, a walk-in gift. It was one of those offers that you get through Facebook, I think, and it came with the offer, you get this and a sample of the cream and you use them together. And I used up all the serum. I still have the cream. The serum is nice. I like the serum. It was good. A Hypnostar Mascara by Lancome. Yeah, I liked it. I, I like these brushes. They're like little Christmas tree things. I Those work on my eyes because they're bigger on the outside and smaller on the inside. So I like these. I've purchased Lancome mascaras before. I do like them. Smashbox Photo Finish. Um, yeah, primer. That's the word I was searching for. I like these. I have a ton of these. Sample size, large size. When I first started getting into re-getting into makeup, getting into makeup again, I started with the Smashbox, so I have gobs of those. So have a bunch already. Don't need to repurchase. Like it. Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 for your hair. And this was okay. It's a leave in hair protector. And it was okay. I liked it. It. I didn't notice that it did amazing things for my hair, but I, it made my hair feel good. Origins Vitazing SPF 15. This is one of their tinted moisturizers, and, and these are nice. It's funny because when they it comes out, it's not so tinted. Let's see, it like looks kind of yucky around the edges. But then when you put it on your face, it, it's like there's little beads that break into tint. I don't know how they explain it, something like that, but it puts a little tint on your face, which is nice. It's a SPF 15. I would put this on when I would go and walk my dog. Bliss Fabulous Foaming Wash, Face Wash, and I like these. Again, I travel with these, and this has little itty bitty granules in it, so it kind of would exfoliate your face, exfoliate your face as you're washing it. And I felt like I got really clean with this. So yes, I liked it. I have a few more of these. Um, where did I get these? Oh, I got these in hotel rooms. And they would replenish them every day. So I would stock up on these and stick them in my bag. Yay! Pishy. Aquila Thermal. Gosh, I have a lot of stuff, huh? This video is going to be so long. Empty. Again, well, almost empty. So it's funny. Here, let me show you the empty bag. The empty bottle. 
it's a white cream. <laughs> it was okay. It was moisturizing. It was nice. It was a nice night cream. Bare Minerals Active Cell Renewal Night Serum. It's a little sample-y thing. I like it. Night Serum. Again, I like all night serums. I haven't found one that I don't like, but I also haven't found one that I think is a holy grail. So this, oh, I couldn't stand this. Hair oil. Why is this in here? I thought I already showed this in the empties video. I think I did it in a favorites and a fail. This was a fail. Well, I finally used it at what I ended up using this for because I couldn't stand it in my hair was I used it for cuticle oil. And I would put it on my cuticle because my cuticles are so dry. So I, instead of putting it on my hair, I would put it on my hands or my cuticles. But that was a fail for me. I This made my hair so greasy and gross. And I don't have greasy hair. So did not like that at all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> NYX Butter Gloss. I like these. I have a bunch of these. This is creme brulee. Yeah, oops. Oh, I've lost my, there, creme brulee. Yes, I like this. It's funny how sometimes when you put stuff, there's a little bit left. You can get a little bit left in there. Mmm, they smell like butter cake. Oh, they're so good. Yes, I love that. This is so old, you can't even, look at this. Ah, you can tell how long I've had that. But yeah, this is a Stila, it's called Vivian. And this was a, either a 100 point pork. It's, it's, look, it's mangled. It's been melted and put back together and, uh. but yeah, one of my colors. I like it. It's pretty creamy. And there's actually still a little bit on there, but that is going in the trash. Went through a Cover FX BB Gel. And I can't remember if I like this or not. I think it was okay. Is there still something in there? It still looks like there's something in there. Oh, there is. Okay, so it looks like that. Looks like that. Last thing I'm going to show is a Smashbox Photo Set Pressed Powder in Light. And they would give you samples to pick from, like deluxe samples. You could get mascaras or sometimes you could get little powders. And I thought these were awesome to throw in your handbag. So that's it, you guys. Jeez, that's like a half hour video. I hope you're all doing great. Be well, my friends. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. able to play a tune that's in a beer bottle i don't even drink beer actually i like allagash white do any of you drink beer what kind of beer do you like i've only found one that i like and it's allagash white i don't even know what kind of beer it is i just know it's allagash white because it's a lot of it's gray in fact because i'm going to go get it done today so you can see all the gray so that's what my hair this is my natural color brown gray body wash i felt clean i like i like it thousand thousandth time for multiple no let's see for many repetitive times of the same <laughs> i don't know why do we always show the container because we know it's empty right we're gone look is that to prove we've used it hi blue hi honey hi the baby can i see my blue there he is hi blue hi honey you wanted to say hi real quick okay next elizabeth Elizabeth Arden, I stuttered, stuttered. Elizabeth Arden, can I say that one more time? Oh, I like to, th these little, I can't speak today. I'm totally stuttered. Heart Harmony. I, think, I don't think I got three items, though. I got this and the cream, so there's a two-part. I don't know. Two-part Harmony? On their website. Website? On their website, they would send you a freebie. That's it.